Bob Slutsky, and uh, you probably know me from Roe and Slutsky, Transparency 1 and 2, and uh, Phenomenal, Literal and Phenomenal. I come, I come unprepared with a text written. I thought I'd extemporize and bear with me. Um, my memories of Colin, of course, go back to Texas days, and they're very vivid memories. Um, we're talking about 46 years ago. We're talking about me coming from Yale, coming down to Austin, uh, Colin being at, in Austin for a year now with Bernard Hosley trying to shape up a, a program for the architecture school, and Lee Hershey and I, uh, and Erwin Rubin later, came down to help in, in putting this program in effect. And so my closeness to Colin really is a result of collaboration with the Transparency Articles. And uh, what I find interesting, I, I, I wish I could reminisce like, like many of you tonight on, on the, the various aspects of Colin as your teacher. Uh, Colin was my teacher too, but in a different way. He was a colleague. And we argued sometimes very strenuously about the substance of what we were going to turn out as two essays and possibly three on, on the issue of transparency, literal and phenomenal. I came on with Gestalt Psychology and Mondrian and Neoplasticism, and Colin was very, very willing to engage it, surprisingly so, because I thought his taste were then and, and later uh, really Renaissance oriented. And uh, he had a, a rather difficult time with modernism, I thought. Uh, Modern painting didn't really interest Colin too much. Uh, he would much prefer to go back in time for his aesthetic thrills. And of course, me being a painter primarily, feeling frustrated that he wasn't buying post-Mondrian post neoplasticism. So in that sense, uh, my memories of, of Colin go into the uh, areas of working together on, on this uh, uh, two, two essay paper. Uh, we used to take trips a lot. You know, I had a car and uh, we drove to places like Lano and Lampasas and, and a few other places, San Saba, Waxahachie. We looked at courthouses. He was very, very visual. He, he, he responded to the subtleties of space in a way that uh, very few people I know uh, have, have had that sensibility of working for them. Um, I'm really very touched. I, I'm, I'm, I find it very difficult to talk about Colin. Actually, I, he's still very much alive uh, in, in, in my consciousness, and, and uh, my memories are so vivid uh, relative to how we lived together and produced uh, what we think, or what we thought to be seminal papers on spatial aesthetics and architecture and painting. Well, I'd like to cut this uh, short and give whatever time is left over to the next speaker. Thank you.